My name's Sarah, and this is my Oddities collection. We freaked out by weird stuff, and dead animals, and teeth, and dead things. You may not want to watch this. First things first. My favourite thing to collect are teeth. I've got this cool um, dental antique. It's a giant teeth set. I think it's pretty fucking cool. Who doesn't want a giant set of teeth in their room? One of the first teeth oddities that I bought, it's quite small, but it doesn't fail to freak people out. It's in a vial. It's in a test tube at the moment because I, my partner smashed the original encasing. It's a cork with a decaying tooth on it. <laughs> Bought this in a mystery set of teeth, and I wasn't sure how decayed it was going to be, but it, it, I ended up getting what they term the gnarliest of them. So what do you think? Are you freaked out? <laughs> One thing that's been on my to-buy list for a long, long time, they're not quite expensive, but there are a lot of varieties out there and you really have to find one that you you like. Is called a Yakka Yaks Talking Teeth Set. And it's an it's a talking teeth, it's a chattering teeth toy from the 50s. And it comes in this beautiful 50s box. And it's this beautiful little plastic teeth set. And it comes with a key as well. And you put the key in and you wind it. And One of my more recent pieces that is quite dear to my heart, and I think it's amazing, even though it's quite simple, is something a friend of mine gave me. And that is a set of their teeth. <laughs> so this is a dental mold of my, my friend Mel's teeth, and I think it's, it's amazing. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. It's sturdy, and it just, it looks super cool. And if you think I'm done talking about teeth yet, just wait. I have more. Now, this isn't quite antiques. Um, they sort of are. But this is my strange jewelry holder. So it's like a sort of a bad display case where I just put some of my more interesting jewelry. In here are some of my favorite pieces of jewelry to wear. If you know me, you know I like to wear this a lot. It's, it can be a normal cross if you move this up a bit but it's just real animal bones. I think it's probably mink. I don't buy mink anymore because it's often unethically sourced and I don't want to support that sort of thing. Then you have this cool little anti-calligraphy pen nib. It's sharp. I've cut myself on it before. I like it. I think it's cool. My favorite thing of all time are these antique denture teeth. So they'd put them on display so that you can choose the color and the style that you want. That sounds really weird, but you know. Speaking of teeth, um, I do have one display that has teeth in it, although the display isn't all about that. And that is this super cool raccoon hide display. It's got a, a cool raccoon hide face, um, and then it's got dried flowers and teeth. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, it's definitely one of my favourites. I kind of went out of my way to get this because I loved it so much. And it's not in my usual style, like, I don't really like the brown frame. But I just think it's amazing. I'm, I don't like taxidermy, really. It kind of creeps me out. I don't like touching it, really. Um, but I decided that I needed to have one piece in my life. I needed to try it once just to see if I'd like it or not. So I have this super cool, and I thought it'd be way smaller than it is. It's a rat. He's quite big. He's bigger than my hand, probably. And I got him on Etsy. He's not very well done because I got him for super cheap because he was a, he's not a display piece. He's a piece for learners to learn how to modify their own taxidermy. So, he's a little bit raw. My most recent piece has been this super, super cool 
um, sequels. And it's pretty amazing. It's huge. It was given to me by my partner's mom, who found it washed up on a beach. She has an entire basket filled with preserved seahorses. It's not seahorse bones, but they're preserved seahorses because the skin is still attached. And I like that she found it because seahorses are actually facing extinction and a lot of like Hawaiian cultures tend to, to mass kill them and sell them, which I, I don't agree with. I mean, don't you want to have seahorses around for a long time? <laughs> the last sort of category of this orderly's sort of collection is test tubes. I have a thing for teeth and test tubes. These are new beautiful little guys. They are they are Mayfly. I got them from one of my favorite 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 oddity stores, Lady Locks Life. Um, she sells mostly jewelry, but I like to buy some of her oddities and remove them from the jewelry. These ones, these are just in the her curio section. But I think they're absolutely beautiful, and I'm glad I got both of them. And they actually do move around in here. I don't know when, I've never seen them move, but not a live move, but they wiggle around in the water. But that's kind of spooky. And lastly is my test tube collection. I'm slowly building this guy up. This came from just Kmart in Australia. It's supposed to be a flower pot, but I liked it so much I thought it would be great for holding some of these cool test tubes. Here you've got a, a tentacle from Lady Box Life. I think it's beautiful, it's quite large too. Um, then I've just got a thorn, a rose stem with thorns on it. Some loose lavender incense. Lastly, I have these catfish bones, which were one of my first Lady Locks Life purchases, and, and to this day, it's been one of my favorites. So that's mostly it for my oddities collection. I've got a few other bits. I've got a lot of dead jewelry, old bones. Most of them are really badly created so that they're molding up. It's horrible. Don't buy shitty, cheap bone jewelry from Etsy. I started my collection by collecting bone jewelry and it, I've really gotten into it. I think it's amazing. I have a few other bits laying around like teeth but that's mostly it. I hope you enjoyed my oddities collection. If you collect oddities I'd love to hear about your collection or see a video on it. Don't forget to check out my blog thewalrusroomblog.com and my Instagram if you like oddities. I'm always posting my new oddity finds on there. Um, have a wonderful day and thank you for watching.